In today's lunch break, we're making simple gourmet spreads for entertaining. Lincoln Park's All Too Well serves up sandwiches and grab-and-go meals. Owner Mitchell Jamra joins us with a whipped brie and a cheddar spread today. This one that you started looks so festive. And what really amazes me is that it's simple, yep. yet you just put a few little things in yeah. there to kick it up for the holidays. That's exactly right, yep. We got one that's kind of, you know, a little bit more fancy and one that's very Chicago. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we need both. We yeah. need both because those, yeah. those are the guests that are coming. Right. And I think always, you know, you plan the meal and a lot of people kind of forget about the beginning and that is when people yeah. first show up first and show you up. just want to give them something to nosh on. Yeah, and you give them your best wine. Save yeah. the cheap wine for later. Exactly, right? right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You're good. You're good at this. Uh, um, yeah. All right, let's get started because we've got two different ones to make here. Yep. Okay, so we'll start with the brie and mm -hmm. fig spread. And you can do this in a food processor, but I only have one food processor today, so we're gonna do it by hand. Okay. It's just as easy. I don't you have can, a food processor, well, so if you do you it go. by hand, that's you, how I'll be doing it. You can get this, it's, this is creamy brie, not with the shell on top of it or mm -hmm. around it. Right. You can get this from the store. Trader Joe's has it, I know that. And I got this from uh, the Jules, so the <laughs> fig spread. So we'll just add a little bit here. I'm eyeballing it. Uh, the recipe I think I gave, so you okay. guys can look at it. but. Um, it, it's really, the reason I like this is because it's sweet and savory. Sure. But we're going to do on the savory version, but you can slice up apples, you can slice up, um, you know, pears or whatever. And you to can, dip it in yeah, there. Yeah, to dip it in yeah, there. So you can nice kind of make well. it as sweet or savory. And it, look, it's super easy to just kind of mix this up. And again, brie. And really, you wouldn't need the exact because you're just right. kind of doing it to taste. Exactly. You're doing it to taste. So you can go and taste how, however you like. If you want it a, a lot sweeter for... You know, the apples, because it's really good with the apples, is you get the tart from the apple, especially right. Granny Smith. And then the sweet from the jam. And that so, way you get a little bit of simple. something healthy yeah. in there, the apple, right? <laughs> two different applications here. Mm -hmm. I like spreads more than dips, because you can, you know, especially since COVID, you know, I don't want sure, to be mixing right. the nice. And then, yeah. And then this one's kind of just a for little. For the double dippers, you know, the from Seinfeld, <laughs> The right? double dip, that's right. <laughs> so we'll just do a couple here. And I would toast these, obviously, like we talked about. Sure, yeah, but, we, in the break you know, we were saying, oh, maybe right. it'd be good if you toasted these. And then I did pomegranate seeds, obviously, because, you know, it's festive. So I know, pomegranate it looks so seeds, pretty. Right. And then just a little parsley. And you're pretty good. Uh, ours at the restaurant, obviously, is a little more complicated. We use, right. you know, because of uh, my Lebanese background, we use rose water or orange water sometimes. Ooh. And you can put on it, it just adds like a nice aroma. Yeah. And then for this one, you know, just kind of make it, I just made these little divots in here. So you spread that around, spread this around. Right, so if you were gonna right. do a dip right. that everyone could and enjoy a together. Spoon there, and then you can kind of spread on the, on the, on the toast points. Perfect. Right. All right, now before we get to the next one, you talked about the restaurant. You've got some grab and go stuff for people. You're doing yeah. some catering for the holidays. Uh -huh. Tell me what the offerings are. Yeah, so the catering, I, I kind of kept it simple where you just, you know, it's between 10 and 12 people mm -hmm. and you pick two different sandwiches and it's $140. Okay. Right? So, um, and then you can also add on chips like we've got here, Cheez-Its. Um, you know, the dips, obviously. Right. But yeah, the dips are all grab and go. You know, it's a little market, but it's mainly chips and kind of snacks and a, a little butterfly gummy worms and um, stuff like that. But, you know, we have, these dips are kind of the permanent fixture. This one are what we're gonna make next, you know, some baba ganoush. Right. And we just kind of throw in some like with feta and some other ones in there. Just kind of grab and go when, when people wanna eat with their sandwich, especially when they're picnicking at the at the park or the zoo. Yes, exactly. Right? All right. And this has been in the family. I mean, not this particular oh, yeah. restaurant, but in the family doing this kind yes. of style. Yes, we know it all too well. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's where the name comes from, right? So, all too well. Yes. Yeah, it's wonderful. All right, Thank well, let's you. get to the second one. Okay. So we obviously, we kind of, we semi make our own cheddar spread, but obviously for this, I just wanted to. So I went to Jewel last night and got some of this stuff. This is the best, though. I right. mean, I gotta say, I love this stuff. And you can, I like the port one. You know, the port wine. Yes, one. the port That's wine. A good one. So we're just gonna add all this cheese into here. And we're just gonna do two of them, but to get it going. And then the food processor will do all of the work. Sure. Right? And then this is a cheddar jardinara spread. I don't know if we said that or not, but that's what we're gonna do. So yeah. that's what the Chicago that's part the is. That's the Chicago right? part, right? I'm gonna Jardinero. separate out some of this oil so we can, you know, kind of so decorate it on top. So it won't be too runny, yeah. is that? Oh, I see, you put well, that on top. Well, I wanna, yeah, a little garnish. And the, the oil is the good stuff. Like mm -hmm. When I didn't own a sandwich shop and I would go to other sandwich shops and they had the jardinara, I'd always ask them to just take the oil and put it on the sandwich, right? Oh, nice. So I like the oil specifically. Um, and the food processor will kind of get this all chopped up, but if mm -hmm. you wanted it, 
chunky, just leave it out and you can just you know put mix it, on it top, together. Mix yeah. It on, okay. Right. And there's some other companies in the city that are, are making this like ready to go, but ours is kind of made in house. So um, okay. And then I'll separate some oil out here just a little bit. That way we can put it on top. And then the rest of this we'll just put in here. Again, eyeball it to your preference. Mm -hmm. you know, recipes yeah. you guys got. But and we'll just get this going. And sometimes we have to stir. It looks sure. like we're it's working out for us today. I know, yeah. The, right. the machine is doing it for you, yep. so you're all good. All right. Then we'll take this, and I've got kind of a plate set up already back here. And I'm just going to use Stacy's pita, pita chips, chips, your own pita chips. I mean, even those would be great with sure. it. Sure. If you're making the toast points right, you right. can use it for both. Yeah. The reason we came up with this is I was putting it on a sandwich. Oh, so that like would a, be good, too. It was too, like a roast beef some. sandwich. Yeah. Um, but I was like, this is just a great dip. So I decided to use it as a dip. I've never seen it before. You know, people making a... A pimento dip, or everybody makes pimento right. dips, right? So I, I thought it would be kind of fun to, in very Chicago. Oh yeah, and you, you know the funny thing is, when you first look at it, you probably think, oh, it's a pimento dip, and then yeah. you're gonna taste it and go, oh, yeah. it's something new. And then again, we're just, you know, keep it simple, stupid, right? So we'll just kind of do this. No, but that's the beauty of it—the simplicity, but yet right. it's delicious and easy to put together, but a big crowd pleaser. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, look at we that. We can do. I don't have another spoon, but we'll just do this. We'll be fine. We'll make it work. Oh, See? put a little on top. And All right. Got, makes it look a little bit fancy. There you go. Two perfect appetizers. Yep. I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, Enjoy course. the holidays. Yeah, you too. So Thank you can you. visit 352 West Armitage online. You can find them at alltowellshy.com for more. We're going to post the recipes on our website. We kind of eyeballed them here, but we do have the stuff by step at wgntv.com slash midday.